Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aries friends and friends of Aries. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Aries, first of all, thank you guys so, so much for your patience. Um, it's taken me a second to get some of these sign readings back on track. Uh, that Galactic Royalty reading that I did a few weeks back just really blew up, and... Um, I had a lot of personal readings to catch up on as well. So thank you guys so much for your patience to start. Um, I wanted to go over what I saw in meditation and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay. Uh, also, actually, we did hit 20,000 subscribers this last week. Also, thank you guys so, so much for your love and support. I am giving away two free readings because of that. If you want to enter for your chance to win one of those, go check out this last week's All Science reading. Um, I have instructions on how to enter for that. Okay, you guys? All right. So Aries, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, what came through was this, it looked like a Z. There were three different components, um, lines here that were not connected and it kept um, the shape of the Z and then it would like elongate into a line and then come back into a Z. So it was giving me this uh, locking, these vibes of locking and unlocking. A locking action is what I wrote down. Uh, and then <laughs> I have no idea what the applicability of this is, but Bazinga came through. So uh, maybe that means something to somebody. I have no idea what that was. As it was locking and unlocking, um, I heard Bazinga. So I was shown a symbol as well. And this is the first time a symbol's come through where I'm like, I'm, I'm not really sure what <laughs> what the what what um <clears throat> so they said safe and secure when i was shown the symbol here too and i'm actually not going to show you the symbol because it is being told to me that it's not here for the collective there was just something about me writing this out for you guys for holding space in here um something about saturn vibes were coming through so um work hard work something to do with karma i just feel like this adds to some sort of flow uh, we'll get into this though and see what the message is. The next thing that I was shown was a heart and then um, the phrase, the lonesome road. Okay, Aries. So I know you guys, a lot of you have been dealing with feelings of loneliness as well. I get the applicability already. Um, so moving into the cards here, I was instructed or led to pull uh, an Oracle card here from the Blue Angel Oracle deck. You guys got Oromasis. Oromasis. So I'm going to read this here in the book, and I'm just going to hold this up to the camera for you guys. We've been asking to see a little bit more. Um, this is purification. Many unexpressed thoughts and emotions stored across time remain locked inside you. Hey, there's that locking. <laughs> uh, disappointments, fear, worry, and feelings of inadequacy and guilt. Nothing serious, just remnants of life's experiences. It is the moment to release these emotions and purify your thoughts. There's no need to analyze and relive the past. Acknowledge that you have emotional debris that you would like to clear. Then imagine a brilliant flame of light transforming and purifying you. Feel yourself being cleansed and healed. Feel the freedom that purification brings. Feel the peace, joy, and love. I pray for love to guide me to illuminate my heart and my mind so that I may feel the sacred flame of light within my soul. So I love that right away. Like it's, it mentioned something being locked. So... <clears throat> I'm being led here to, there's something here you guys are um, being requested to release. Like the book was saying there on that, there's no need to relive the past. So I'm getting kind of like a circle track motion. Um, some of you may be stuck in a process of thought or emotional experience as well. Um, having a hard time pulling out of the past. So uh, I do feel like that symbol, like I said, although it wasn't necessary for me to show um is aiding in like allowing something to open up for you to escape the circle track, okay? So let's get into the tarot here for you. You want this deck first. So this is the This May Hurt tarot we'll start with. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aries at this time? And huge shout out to my channel members, of course. Hello, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support, as always. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description as well as a join button next to the subscribe button under the video. I do have personal readings open and available right now if you'd like to schedule something there. My link to the website is in the description of this video as well. Feel free to take a look, okay? Okie dokie. So Knight of Wands here at the bottom, this is your hopes, hopes and dreams. 
Knight of Wands here is um, like there's an encouragement to move forward with something with the Knight of Wands, getting back up and trying again. I feel like you guys are aware of maybe the circle track kind of uh, experience and you're hoping to break free from that. You're hoping to get up on this motorcycle and get the hell out of Dodge, right? <laughs> I feel that. Um, so let's move into second deck here for you guys. This is the Untamed Tarot. So, Spirit, what do we have here for Aries at this time? Additional messages. The tower here at the split. I feel like like now's the time is what I'm I'm getting. Now is the time for that tower to come down. Part of the tower coming down, it's really just like bringing, bringing you back down or into reality. Um, something may have gotten out of hand, hand or too lofty. Uh, ego may have gotten out of hand. That's really the purpose of the tower is just to kind of like level the playing field, which ultimately is for your highest good and for your benefit. This is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. If it resonates with you, please let it resonate. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. Check out your rising moon and Venus and the other major placements in your chart. There are additional po uh, components to your story, and I encourage you to take a look, okay? So the emperor here at the bottom, this is your fear aversion. So the emperor is um, uh, the divine masculine. This is power, control, strength. Um, especially in this deck with the lion on there, I get, I get more of the component of strength here. I feel like the fear, concern, anxiety is, do I have the strength to do this? Am I resilient enough to, to make it through or to break through whatever that means for you right now? Um, it could be, you just like, there's been a lack of abundance. There's been, um, a lot of pressure at work. There's pressure in a relationship. There's just something where you're wanting to come up for air is kind of what I'm getting. And you're afraid that you might not have the strength or the resiliency to see yourself through that. Okay. I do feel encouraged real quick here. Just got this deck the other day, but they're telling me to pull a card here real quick. And then we'll pull the spread. What's going on here for Aries, please, Spirit? <laughs> Anomaly. I think uh, Aquarius had this in the All Signs reading. I had to do a separate one for them because I forgot. <laughs> I missed them somehow. So Anomaly. Um, the Anomaly card is uh, a call to something that is different. Like you can see in the picture, it's a white raven or crow um, when typically they're black, right? Um, something with albinism. There is something about paying attention to something that is a little bit out of the ordinary. Like whatever this is that's locked away. The anomaly allows you passage into that. Okay, we'll explore this as we go along here. Just something standing out, out of the ordinary you're being asked to pay attention to, okay? So, <laughs> okay, we'll start off with a bang. Um, <clears throat> general energy, you guys, surrounding you currently, you have... The tower, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So the tower, like I was just saying, I do feel like there's an echo in here, echo. <laughs> um, this process of things coming back down to reality, uh, it may not be the most enjoyable. It's not a spa day for you, for sure. But in the long run, it's actually helping you more than you know. That's what I'm hearing. Um, something may have gotten a little bit off track Okay, and when I say off track, I mean based on your own soul's um, intention of being here, okay? You came here to experience certain things to learn and grow in certain ways. And that's not always the answer that is like the coolest <laughs> to receive, but it's the truth. So I'm just getting this feeling, and that makes sense too. Like I'm sure we're going to see a lot of towers here over the next, what, 15 years really? <laughs> Uh, with Pluto being in Aquarius, now's the time. But we are also experiencing that on a personal level. So um, regaining some freedom is what's coming through on that. Let's see what else we have going on. Ooh. Let's grab two cards. Page of Pentacles comes through here to clarify this. Um, so Page of Pentacles, there is a component of um, learning, of studiousness, being open to learning something. Um, it it can symbolize something new, um, improving something, making something better. 
So I feel like the intention of this tower coming down, like I was saying, is to bring you back to a space where you can actually move forward in a positive way, in positive um, movement. A lot like the word just floated through there. What was the word you just said? Dimensions. I don't know why that makes. Okay. Um, this tower coming down is actually allowing you to move forward in ways that you weren't able to move forward before, okay? Uh, because you were up here in the clouds. <laughs> so it's not a bad thing. It's just, um, it's, it's meant to get you back on track as far as what your soul wanted to experience here, okay? So moving into the good stuff here, what you can expect that's good. I do feel like actually... Not this deck. Can you give me a little bit more on the tower and five or page of pentacles? Five of pentacles. Um, <clears throat> the empress and king of pentacles actually fall out here. So I like that the empress and the emperor both came through here. Um, this could involve love for some of you. There could be a component of like whatever's coming down could involve um, somebody that you thought was a soulmate or a, you know, um, divine counterpart or what have you and they very well could be those situations do also come to an end from time to time it all depends on what what is intended to be learned here okay but this is nurturing healing as well so again i just feel like this process of like needing to fall apart to come back together <clears throat> the king of pentacles i like to see this i feel like um you guys are moving into this king of pentacles energy after things come back to where they need to be. This is abundance. This is generosity and sharing that abundance and uh, knowledge of how to build that abundance too. Okay, so let's move forward. The good stuff for you here. You guys have the moon to start. The moon. And the moon symbolizes our unconscious realm, our fears. Um, I feel like this is an opportunity. It's gonna trigger some fears or fears are triggered right now. Um, the Lonesome Road is what is standing out to me here. Um, I feel like that is a fear for a lot of you. Isolation or being alone, not having um, assistance or support. I feel like with this tower coming down, though, and especially moving into the Empress and King of Pentacles, this is an opportunity to overcome some of these fears that may have been paralyzing you for quite some time. That's kind of one of the benefits of the tower coming down, too. I see this like you're up in these lofty heights and uh, maybe you're getting dizzy. You're getting a little bit of anxiety from a fear of heights. <laughs> um, that tower coming down could be painful or extreme as it's happening. But in the long run, you're noticing that there is an alleviation of anxiety surrounding that situation too. There's fear that's being dispelled. Okay. Okay. So um, Eight of Swords comes in here next. Yay. I love this. Um, this kind of reminds me of the uh, breaking free or like prison break component to the Tower card. The Eight of Swords is about, it's like a form of self-imprisonment. We can get ourselves trapped in our head. So being in the good stuff here, I feel like along with fear, fear being alleviated, um, feeling this release, this, uh, I like the lock. Something's being unlocked here. <laughs> ah, now I see spirit. Okay. Um, so this lock is being unlocked. You're being set free. Um, there is a component of this though, where like you're setting yourself free. What I'm getting is, uh, what do you do? What do you do when you hit the ground? When you get back up, um, are you looking around, uh, <laughs> uh, for somebody to fight as like, uh, like this is your fault, you know, to blame on why the tower came down or are you getting back up and looking around just to see where your next step is? There's something about the way that you move forward after this is really important. It's not about blaming somebody. There isn't somebody to blame, even yourself in the situation. Um, it's, it's what needed to happen. Pressure builds, pressure needs to be released, okay? So um, alleviation of fear and breaking free from a self-imposed prison. Love it. Sounds great. So what you don't see coming here, what is in the dark for you guys? You have 10 of wands comes through first. Ten of Wands is about releasing a burden. So I like to see this energy coming through with Tower, I mean, all that, Moon, Eight of Swords, um, and Ten of Wands here. What you don't see that's going on in this process is you're actually getting to a point of letting some of this load go. 
For some of you, I do feel that there is an encouragement to pay attention to if you are intentionally holding on to this load. So the Ten of Wands, we get to the end of the journey here. We're getting ready to start over again, but we have to release some of the things that we've picked up along the way with this journey. Um, because otherwise, what is the point of starting this new journey if you don't have room to take things with you as far as lessons and that sort of thing go, okay? There's a need to release a burden on the heart here so that you have room to learn more, <laughs> to take on more in a healthy way, okay? Give yourself a break comes through on that. Like in this process of relieving some of this pressure too, you don't need to instantly go in and add more pressure to fill that up. It's okay to like enjoy the space, okay? So uh, Page of Wands comes in here next. I do feel like you guys are starting, like you're getting, getting put into a position where you can uh, reignite some passion or tap into some creativity that you haven't for a while or maybe haven't ever been. The Page of Wands is excited about starting a new journey. This is my put me in coach card. Um, they may not always be the best at following through on things, like seeing the journey here till the end. But what I feel like is important here is that excitement, that passion to start something again. Because I feel like some of you are burnt out. And that burnt out feeling or being exhausted is from the tower here. It's from this accumulation of things that you don't need. Energetically, uh, paths that you're taking down. That's why the tower is coming down. Is to kind of like level the playing field. With that happening, you're being put in a position um, to start again. To get excited about that. To be open to something new starting. Can I get, where did I put that deck? Can I get any other information here on what's in the dark here for Aries? What else they need to know? Tell me a little bit more about the Page of Wands. That's actually what I want to know. Please. Five of Cups comes through here. Um, for some of you, this could be an opportunity to start again in a relationship specifically. So five of cups here is disappointment, regret, remorse. Um, and this card in particular, the way they describe it, this is the shrew <laughs> that's yelling at the husband here. There are the spilled cups and then there is a rose, like a crushed rose here on the floor. The symbology of that is the love that's been lost between them. That all it is is fighting now. Neither have the respect or love for each other anymore. And that's being displayed in this scene. So um, for some of you, I get the ability with the Ten of Wands, the ability to release yourself from a situation like this. For others of you with the Page of Wands, I get the message that there's an opportunity to um, try again. Not like to go back to something from the past. This would be if you're already in a relationship, but to like reignite passion, to get excited about your connection again, okay? Um, but in general, for others of you, it's this process of releasing whatever this is that makes you feel disappointed, whatever you're feeling regret over in the past, those locked away feelings. Now is the time to release those, okay? To step away from those disappointments and to start looking at what, uh, what fills you up, okay? What cups you do have that are still filled and what fills your cup, all right? So let's move into your challenge or obstacle in this period, Aries. Three of Cups comes through here first. So Three of Cups is about um, connection and celebration, essentially. These individuals are all uh, a posse, right? <laughs> they're all getting together and they're celebrating whatever they want. <laughs> the encouragement with the Three of Cups, and I feel like this is kind of where you guys are at. You're going through some difficult things right now. Uh, and maybe well, Anomaly is standing out here. Be the Anomaly, okay. Um, it may seem that there is nothing to celebrate right now. The encouragement that's coming through with this is find something to celebrate. Even in the face of darkness, even in the face of things that don't feel good. Loss. Um, still find time to participate in joy. To connect with that celebratory energy in your life. 
this helps bring more of this forward, okay? Maybe some of you are having a hard time uh, connecting with a friend group or with your friend group. That's kind of what I'm getting with the anomaly. Like maybe you're feeling like an anomaly. Um, for some of you, there has been a connection to your friends and you're just feeling this separation. Like what changed or did I change or what, you know, what's going on? I'm just getting that, that vibe with that. It may be the case for some of you. I am getting a recommendation here to lean into that. Let your freak flag fly. <laughs> if the group of people that you hang out with no longer want to be a part of that, then wish them well, right? That doesn't mean necessarily that you need to change anything yourself, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting. It's okay to be, it's okay to be the white crow. It's okay to be the white raven here. Um, so what else we have here, Spirit? Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles is new, upper, uh, new opportunities in the physical realm here. It could be money, uh, return on an investment, a new job. I feel like the difficulty here is um, as that tower is coming down, you're being shown what's been locked away. I'm just getting this like, uh, it's kind of Ten of Swords energy that's coming through. A difficulty in stepping away from where it's been painful. Not that you're like fully addicted to that situation, but what's coming through is like, I don't know anything else. I don't know what, it, what the next step is to take. Can we get some advice on that, please, Spirit? What's coming through is like, there isn't necessarily a wrong step that you can make, but once this tower comes down, the request is to make a step, to start the flow of energy again, to, to create motion for yourself. And in doing that, you will start to be led to where you need to go, okay? Don't be afraid to misstep, all right? Um, advice here for Aries on working on this obstacle or this challenge. The moon. <laughs> um, two of cups here at the bottom. So I do feel like for some of you, like I was saying earlier, you may be dealing with that in the form of a relationship. But the moon, like I was saying earlier here, is um, fear. Your emotional, um, unconscious realm, excuse me, subconscious realm. You're being shown the way through. What's standing out to me? So it's not on this card or in this deck, the Ace of Pentacles, but in the standard Rider weight, there is a gate. There's like a hand holding a coin and then there's a gate, a garden gate there. You're being shown the way through that gate with this energy. And with the moon, you're also being shown the way through your fears. So um, what's coming through as far as recommendation is like, let this be unlocked. Cut the strings. These two are like marionette style connected to the moon there. To not let your fears manipulate you, okay? You don't have to listen to every voice that's floating through your head, right? <laughs> Sometimes that can be dangerous. So uh, three main pieces of advice here, please, for Aries. Be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. That's where you guys are at right now, for sure. What else do we have here for Aries? Just with the bottom one. Divine counterpart. Ooh, a divine connection sent to you from your angels. So I was talking about that earlier. Like I said, some of you may be in a situation with a divine counterpart that needs to come to a close or um, it ne something needs to be reset. There needs to be joy and celebration brought back into the situation. I'm getting like, get back to basics. Are you flirting still? Did you guys stop dating each other? Because those are things that will kill any relationship. <laughs> Um, get back to playing. Make sure that you're playing, okay? <laughs> Dang. Soulmate, the divine will provide you with love when you're ready. So, uh, okay, sounds like we're, uh, yeah, we're really talking about a relationship for some of you. And boundaries, know when to put up and let down your walls. That I get, like what I was saying, are you guys, are you flirting still? Are you dating each other? Have you guys kind of got lost in your own towers here? and forgotten to connect with each other in fun ways. 
because things don't, that's kind of what I'm getting here with the three of cups, especially with the relationship portion, is things don't just like happen, <laughs> especially with relationships. Things aren't just always fun. It's important to make it fun. Make it fun, Aries. Make it work. Um, so last piece of information here, we'll do um, Wild Unknown. Animal spirit, sorry, total brain fart there. Spirit, what do we have here for Aries with animal messages? What do they need to know? What else do they need to know here? And then we'll move into the extended, okay? What would be helpful for Aries? Dapantha. I'm gonna read this from the book here, one second. I'll just throw everything. <laughs> okay. Pantha. I'll try and find this here. There we go. So, Panther, Annihilation of the Unnecessary and Purging. Of course, yes. <laughs> That's exactly what we're talking about here with the tower. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives. Totally that tower coming down. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. So imbalance, brave and productive, out of balance, self-destructive. To bring into balance, get rid of the unnecessary, which is totally that 10 of wands. <laughs> what you don't see coming or what's in the dark there is this need to release. Okay, you guys, release what's been locked away. All right, Aries, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. I'm gonna move into the extended. If you'd like to join me there, there's a link in the description of the video. Um, if this is where we part, I truly appreciate you guys hanging around for the message and I hope it was helpful. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Again, I do have readings available if you want to check out my website. I do uh, accept donations, and thank you guys so, so much to those who do support the channel in that way. There are links in the description as well if you want to support the channel. Thank you so much. It does go a long way. Um, I will see you all very soon, okay? Please take good care of yourselves and enjoy yourselves. Go have some fun, all right? Be well.